welcome to our myself professor deshmukh is presenting the theory lectures based on resonance and force vibrations so what exactly the resonance and force vibrations is there so come to the point that is vibrating by force first so vibration is with application of external force and also the resistance to the motion that is called as what the vibrations and the resonance it can be occur when with a frequency with a lower than the natural frequency but not above so so or we can see the conditions where it equally having the values under that condition that is the resonance is occur now what is my natural frequency first so all rigid objects while operating including the solid contractions molecular and ionic bonds then again electronic uh, electrons between the electron by shells frequency at which vibrates causes the greatest amplitude is called as natural frequency objects can have the multiple natural frequencies so these are the things solid contractions molecular and ionic bonds electrons between the electron shells frequency at which the actual vibrations causes the greatest amplitude is called natural frequency objects can have a multiple natural frequencies so what actually the natural frequency once again the frequency of uh, force of pre vibration that is called as what natural frequency now the force vibrations force vibration means what the vibration which have the some external force that is called as force vibrations which occur when the object is vibrate at the frequency other than natural frequency it must be physical contact between the objects for the transfer of or vibrations to occur the example turning fork on table music box speaker box so what happen in the case there is physical contact between the objects for transfer the vibrations this so, is what there is something external force is required in the case of the force vibrations and some example is given that is turning fork on table turning fork on table we are applying some external force speaker box there against music box so these are the example of force vibrations here again come to the main part that is resonance the vibration of object at its natural frequency so per operation can be transferred with physical contact the resonance can occur with a frequency lower than the natural frequency of object the example bridges breaking shaking of the glass shakes car breaking sympathetic uh, strings of sitar swing breaking a glass with wise and the tuning radio stations so this are the all about the resonance so what is the resonance again this occurs when the frequency is lower than natural frequency means what is nearly to the our case same as like the frequency of body is equal to frequency of your external force so what happen in this case the amplitude of vibrations is much greater than your the operating amplitude in the case of resonance now the three uh, tuning fork problem so the applications where resonance may occur the tuning fork frequency 20 hertz 40 hertz and 80 hertz place in the near one another which fork will be vibrate in resonance when the forking fork fork is struck 20 hertz 40 hertz and 80 hertz so so whether it is whether the which conditions the resonances occur that you have to calculate 
not calculating the resonance for the standing waves along string and the pipes the string connected at the both ends or pipe open at the both ends frequency w twice v upon nl rain is equal to 1 2 3 length of string n lambda by 2 the closed pipes 4v upon nl where n is equal to 1 3 5 length of pipe n lambda upon 4 n is equal to 1 is called fundamental frequency or the first harmonic is lowest frequency head so this is the basic calculations of your resonance for open at the both end under that condition the frequency is twice v upon nl where n is equal to 1 to 3 length of string that is n lambda by 2 and for the four closed pipe frequency is equal to 4 v upon nl where n is equal to 1 3 5 length of pipe n lambda by 4 n is equal to 1 called the fundamental frequency or first harmonic and least lowest frequency heard. So this is all about the conditions to be frequency or so simulations of this natural frequency once again I am just repeating the things the force vibrations is nothing but the what the vibration with application of external force and it is having some resistance to the motions if that undamped uh, damp, damp condition is there ok while resonance is quite similar is same the frequency lower than the natural frequency of object so what is the basic relations between these two? The basic relation is quite easier. It depends upon the natural frequency. The natural frequency is nothing but the one, the frequency of vibration that is called as natural frequency. So uh, free vibration that is called as natural frequency. Free vibration, the force, the vibration without any external force that is called as what? Free vibrations. So what is the exactly correlation between force and uh, that particular natural frequency and that of your resonance? When force frequency means what the frequency of the force vibration natural frequency frequency of free vibration if these both are being uh, same under that kind is a resonance created what is the output of this resonance the amplitude of vibration get more and it will have some harmful effect over the system system may get damaged so these are the things which have to consider in the case of your uh, the uh, force vibration and that of your uh, particular resonance so this is the case